Hello friends. Happy Friday. Happy Fenty Friday, I should say. And on today's video, I'm gonna be touching on again, something that's very important to me. You know, I'm all about the fresh, dewy, radiant skin, not so much full glam. So today's video is gonna be all about complexion and skin related hacks with the Fenty Beauty complexion and base products. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button because you know, I bring it to you every Friday for these Fenty Fridays and hit the notification bell so you know when I post my Fenty Fridays as well as any of my other videos, which mostly all do with skincare. So getting into it again, you know, I worked at Sephora, I was hired before a Fenty launch. So I have a lot, a lot, a lot of experience and training with the Fenty brand from brand reps themselves, as well as just working with the products on clients, as well as wearing it for as many years as I have now. Fenty is coming up on its third year anniversary in September. And as a result of that, I really learned how to finesse and work with the products to give a really, really amazing complexion base look. That's what I'm best at, complexion and base. Let's be real here. I'm gonna be sharing my tips, tricks, and hacks on how to get the most out of your Fenty base products and how to make them work together to the best of their abilities to best benefit you. First and foremost, skin prep with any complexion based product skin prep is key you gotta make sure you exfoliate hydrate and moisturize your skin to the best of its ability because if your skin is not looking cute your makeup's not gonna look cute period <laughs> that's point blank you can't expect your foundation to work miracles for you if what's going on underneath just not working out for summertime don't forget well for all year round but summertime especially you have to wear your sunscreen and so with that i recommend yo substitute your moisturizer out for sunscreen sunscreen in itself is a great moisturizer but you also have a lot of great formulas that really moisturize your skin effectively and efficiently while also giving you really ample sunscreen protection Protection. You know, some of my favorites are like the Perito sunscreens, Biore sunscreens, and the Cosrx sunscreens. All really affordable, all really easy to access. Got you some. But I will also stress the less is more approach definitely falls in line here. You don't want to have a lot going on underneath your foundation because that's just going to be more layers for your foundation to slide on. And often that can exacerbate just really unwanted effects like pilling and breakup in your foundation throughout the day. Now after skin prep, really vital step is priming. So with Fenty, they provide you with three different primers. So really it just comes down to finding the best primer that works for you. Find the primer that tackles the needs that you have. Is it pores and texture? They have the soft matte primer. If it's hydration, they have hydrating primer. And if it's specifically you got oily skin, they have the mattifying primer for you. And what's great is if there's different needs you need to tackle, multi-prime. For example, I like the mattifying primer all over my face, but oftentimes just to kind of tackle a little bit extra pore care, I use the soft matte pore filling primer right here next to my nose where I have a little bit more of a texture issue good as gold. Some hacks related to primers is if you have more oily skin and you're using the mattifying primer, go over the mattifying primer with a really light layer of uh, setting powder on a beauty sponge and really press that in. It's going to give you an extra layer of oil absorbing power underneath your foundation to really make your foundation last and help control oil throughout the day. If you have more dry skin, go in over your hydrating primer with a layer of the What To Do Refreshing Mist to really give your skin a nice quench before your foundation goes on. It's also going to prolong the wear of your foundation throughout the day as well. So once your skin's prepped and you got your primer set, it's foundation time. So with Fenty Beauty, you also got options. You got two specifically, the soft matte pro filter foundation as well as the hydrating pro filter foundation. Remember with these, less is in fact more. The more you put on your face, the more you're really exacerbating the issue of slip slidage throughout the day and your foundation not lasting. So just remember, moderation is key with this. You also don't want to have cake face. One pump of the foundation is going to give you a nice amount of medium coverage. Two pumps max is going to give you a full coverage beat that's going to last all day. Just like with the primers, you also have the ability to multi-foundation if you want. With the Pro Filter Foundation line, you have a one-to-one -one match. So if you're 290 in one of them, you're 290 in the other one, it's going to work great to match your skin. So oftentimes, if you have combo skin and you want to tackle certain issues, for example, I have a more oily center of my face, soft matte foundation there, and then I'll do the hydrating one on the perimeter of my face to give me that glow where I want it. What I will say is for a really nice, fresh face, just give yourself a nice wash of color with the foundation. It's going to give you a nice little layer to then see, okay, I need to spot conceal this, or I want to hide this, and then you can go in and specifically spot conceal those areas while keeping the rest of your face looking really really fresh if your goal is more sheer coverage cut your foundation the coverage way too high you need to cut it so you can either use a moisturizer mixing with your foundation or pro tip cut it with your primer what's really great is if you cut your foundation with your primer you are shearing out the foundation coverage while also adding on the additional primer advantage of long lasting and long wear as well as whatever else the primer is really advertising whether it's mattifying pore diffusion hydration best of both worlds but then don't forget at the end of the day the pro filter foundations are meant to be long wear sweat proof humidity proof gang turn out the club proof i've tested these foundations in all kinds of weather all kinds of locations high humidity really dry really cold really hot and they last and they make your skin look flawless all day long once that's all done it's time to conceal and just like with foundation less is more you don't want cake face 
that's not cute to give you the best advantage while also using not as much product i recommend color correcting you know priscilla ono fenty beauty global artist always talks about this and that's just basically neutralizing any discoloration in your face first to then use less product to conceal in the first place some really great products for that the pro filter concealer in the shade 270 as well as the matchsticks in either the shade peach if you're more fair or honey if you're a little bit more tan those are all really nice peachy colors that are going to cancel out any blue purple discoloration in your under eye so that way when you go in with concealer you're using less product to give you a lot more of a brighter fresher look what's really great about the pro filter concealers is that they are already set to go with the foundations that match their color what you will notice is that if you are 290 in the foundation 290 in the concealer is going to be the appropriate shade to give you a nice semi bright and conceal underneath your eyes you'll notice that concealer shades are a little bit lighter and a little bit of a different undertone but that being said if you want to brighten go down a few shades i'm going to insert charts right here on screen so that you can see that there's actually based off your foundation shade different concealer shades you want to use if you want to just conceal if you want to cover up blemishes if you really want to brighten fenty's got to figure it out for you trust they really came in clutch with that some concealing tips a target specifically where you want to conceal oh you always see people do a lot of concealer under their eyes but honestly again less is more target specifically where you want to conceal any discoloration or darkness namely in the inner third and outer thirds of your eye I you call this the Robert Welsh method. Check out his channel on YouTube. He's an amazing makeup artist with really great, amazing pro makeup tips and tricks. And he'll just conceal those specific spots, tap them in with his fingers, and that very targeted concealing gives you an amazing brightened effect without doing too much with your concealer. Pro tip number two to kind of go on with that is use your fingers. Your fingers are amazing tools to really blend the concealer in. Since your fingers are really warm, it really works with the product to really push and meld that product in with your skin for a really natural skin-like finish. Number three, this is one of my crease preventing hacks and it's take the end of a really small brush like a shadow brush and just roll it up under your eyes if you have any creasing and that's going to take off any excess product kind of give you an, an initial blend tap whatever's left with your finger set you're golden no creasing is going to make your concealer look amazing and smooth underneath your eyes all day number four pro tip if you have any stubborn breakouts or hyperpigmentation before you go into the foundation do a little layer of concealer to conceal those things first Give it about a minute or two for the Pro Filter Concealer to set, and then go on top with your foundation, being careful to either press or stipple, not swipe, over those spots. That initial layer of concealer is gonna do an amazing job of concealing and hiding the blemishes or scarring underneath your foundation, but also it's not going to move, and it's gonna give you a really nice, flawless base that you can't see any imperfections through. And then pro tip number five is, if you really are in a rush to get ready in the day, skip the foundation, go straight in with concealer. What I like to do is target concealer across specific parts of my face and really buff it out. Because the concealer has such high pigmentation and using such a small amount of it, you're really giving yourself a nice, even wash of pigment, concealing any redness or discoloration you might have, and Really subtle way and because it's a pro filter line you're gonna have a really mattified really smoothed out airbrush finish throughout your face set it and you're good all day and now that you're all color corrected concealed foundation it's time to set as with everything else Fenty's giving you options for example with powders find the powder that's gonna work best for you they have the two powders the Invisimat blotting powder as well as the pro filter setting powder if you have more dry skin real talk that Invisimat powder is gonna get you through the day in a really nice subtle lightweight layer if you have more oily skin or you want more heavy duty setting pro filter setting powder amazing job for you what i will say though as with everything else moderation is key i'm not someone to bake with that being said the fenty beauty powders are really nice for baking because they're really really micro fine they're really really non-drying on the skin but i still don't like the drying effect what i will say though is if you want more full power setting from your pro filter setting powder take a beauty sponge really dip it into that powder tap the excess off the back of your hand which you can use as a reservoir and then go in and really press that loose setting powder where you need the oil control and that like power setting throughout the day that's going to give you a much better result than just baking and the finish of it's going to look a lot more airbrushed and flawless with the powders really just target it where you need it if you don't want a super matte full this dry face target the powder underneath your eyes to prevent creasing t-zone to just uh, control any oil production throughout the day and leave the rest of your face to get nice glowy and radiant like i do that's my pro tip and i got oily ass skin more so if you really want to prevent really cakey dry powdery look just go in with a layer of the what to do refreshing mist it's going to give you that nice set that nice long lasting makeup look but it also diminishes any look of really powdery super matte finish and makes your skin just look refreshed dewy supple and yeah that's that that's really all the pro tips i have for the fenty beauty products in terms of complexion 
use these based off what your skin type is and your face is going to be on lock. With Fenty Beauty products, what's great about them is that they're all intended to work really well with each other. You layer them on top of each other. They don't necessarily move each other or affect each other in a negative way. So they really go hand in hand with each other to give you that long lasting, long wear, unbreakable look. Your face is going to look flawless from AM to PM. With that, that's the end of the video. Super quick, super informative. If you have any questions or want to talk about Fenty products down in the comments, just leave those and we'll fangirl with each other. If you like this kind of video and you find it really useful to you, thumbs up, please subscribe, hit that bell notification, share with your friends. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Come back next week and have a good weekend.